Using data analytics and auditing is a great way to leverage the power and scope of analytics to perform better audits. From identifying what areas to audit to getting deeper into some of the audits you're doing, data has a very big place within this niche and it's something a lot of companies are still just figuring out how to leverage. But the companies that do figure out how to leverage it can do more faster with fewer resources than what they need in the past, not using analytics as a part of their work. I'm Jen and I demystify analytic skills and careers. I spend a lot of time talking about analytics and how they can be used in different subject areas, industries, niches, because analytics touches almost every job. You can find analytics resources down in the video description. For now though, let's jump into how data analytics fits into the auditing landscape. We'll look at what is audit data analytics. We'll talk about the advantages of using analytics in the audit space. And we'll talk about some of the disadvantages of using analytics within audit because analytics data is certainly not without its limit. As long as you know them though, you can make really smart decisions with it that help make your job much easier. Let's start out with what is audit data analytics. If we step back and we look at data analytics in general, it's a science, but it also has a bit of art to it. There is a level of creativity within the analytics space in determining what questions to ask. What am I trying to solve? How do I want to ask a particular question of the data? In that regard, audit data analytics, similar to almost all other data analytics, is the art and science of finding patterns within your data. Within the audit space, that typically means looking for inconsistencies and differences in trends within a particular subset of the data compared to what is the norm for the rest of the data. This lets us extract information that's useful to whatever the subject area of the audit may be. What does this actually mean in practice though? Let's look at a few examples of what it can mean. It can help you figure out what area to focus your audit on in the first place. Let's take a large company that owns multiple different retail locations. You you could analyze different data from each store to identify trends within a region and then look for differences within a single store. That might be an area that you want to focus a little more attention on to understand. Note that this doesn't immediately mean that there's a problem, it just means that there is something that's different in the data that you need to dig a little bit deeper on to make sure that it makes sense or to address whatever behavior or issues might be causing the differences. Maybe you're a company that doesn't have multiple different retail locations but you have many different people in your finance team processing transactions. You might look at how things differ from person to person on the type of transactions that are approved versus not approved and how you can learn more about this. You could create standards around this and make the company better at having one common approach regardless of the person involved in that process. Data analytics can also help you process information in the midst of an audit. If we take that same company with multiple retail locations, within a certain location, you might look at specific products or types of products to understand what's going on with those. Do you have maybe a high rate of return of certain products in a given store versus another one? How do you narrow it down to get more specific in where you focus your energy and your resources? Analytics also can make it easy to look back at past audits you've done and confirm whether things are on track or off track or maybe need a little more attention. Maybe you did an audit last year and looked at a specific store. What's it look like this year? Maybe it's changed. Did you expect it to change? Was everything okay and you expected it to stay the same? Analytics can be a good way to keep tabs on that past work that's been done without putting a lot of additional effort to maybe go out and re-audit when all you need to do is start with checking the data to tell you whether you need to spend more time focusing there or not. This makes a much more efficient use of resources than if everything needs to be manually handled or the only way to follow up is to go back and re-audit certain areas. We've already started to delve into the advantages of working with analytics in the audit space. 
Let's talk a little bit more about that now. Certainly one of the advantages is that you don't need as much manual work. You can leverage that data and that information to do things more efficiently than if you had to do it in a manual way. Not only can analytics be more efficient, but they can also potentially provide more coverage. This is great when it comes to things like risk management, where you might be able to cover a much broader area using analytics than if you weren't using data and you were, or you were using data in a more manual way, having to manipulate it, having someone involved throughout the process versus being more targeted in utilizing those analytics. This also improves your audit quality. You know that you're being more targeted in what you do. You're actually covering a lot more space even as analytics is being used to focus the manual attention or the physical audit down further because you're able to look at the broad spectrum of all of the areas you have, everything that you have data for, and then say, really, I've looked at key markers in all of these areas and this maybe 1% or 5% is something I need to focus on instead of needing to check every single area. So it can really make you have better coverage overall than if you weren't utilizing analytics. This can also lead to clearer reporting or sharing out of information. Rather than having to take single examples from an audit that you performed, you might be able to pull multiple multiple examples using the data, using those analytics that you've been working with that demonstrate a message that you're trying to convey out to the organization or out to someone that needs feedback from the audit. While there are so many benefits of using analytics within audit, keep in mind that there are some downsides or maybe I should say more so some limitations of what you can do with your data and with your analytics. The first limitation is subject matter knowledge. This is where the people involved are really key. They bring knowledge about the topic that you're auditing to know the type of questions to ask, to know where you might want to check within the data. That's something that the data itself can't tell you. It can maybe start to tell you if you ask certain questions, but having that deep subject matter knowledge is really going to be key in making the analytics useful. Another problem is if you just tend to look at averages in audit, too average can actually be a problem. There's a tendency to use data and say, if something is about average, we don't need to focus on it. But sometimes this is exactly where you need to focus. If we take those examples of stores or particular employees, sometimes you want to pick some that always hit the averages and look at those. Why are they always hitting the averages? Do they have variation in their data? If everything is coming in at kind of what they expect the average to be, that may indicate a problem in itself, that they're trying to fly under the radar to avoid detection around a certain problem. This doesn't mean you have to go audit every single store, every single employee in the process, but it does mean that there is value in sometimes looking at those things that on the surface, don't immediately jump out as problematic, just to check and understand what's going on there. There are multiple ways that problems can arise, and keep in mind it can look like what you would expect normal to look like. I hope you have a much better understanding about how auditors can use analytics and how analytics can really make the audit world easier to navigate and increase the coverage, increase the efficiency, increase the usefulness of the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for watching.